Hi, in this problem we are going to find this limit. We have the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed plus 5x over 2x cubed minus x squared plus 4. And we're just going to do it. Um, basically the idea is that in the numerator you have this, in the denominator you have this. And the term of highest degree is x cubed. Here it's also x cubed and they match. So basically when x is really big we can ignore all of these other terms and all we care about is the dominant terms, these x cubed terms. And because they're growing at exactly the same rate, the answer is simply going to be the ratio of the leading coefficients. So there's a 1 here, so it's just going to be 1 over 2, and that's the answer. Now, if you wanted to show work, I'll show you really quick. What you could do is you could basically divide the numerator and the denominator by x cubed, which basically amounts to multiplying by 1. So you would multiply by 1 over x cubed over 1 over x cubed. So you're basically just multiplying by 1 here. So let's do it. It's the limit as x approaches infinity. So 1 over x cubed times this. I'll show all the work. And then 1 over x cubed times this. Over And then 1 over x cubed times this. So 2x cubed over x cubed minus x squared over x cubed plus 4 over x cubed. Again, just putting an x cubed basically under each term of this limit. You can actually skip this step and just go straight to this. I just showed you this step to show you like why it's actually like mathematically okay to do it because basically we're just multiplying by 1. A lot of people just go straight here, but this is why you can do it, right? It's because we're multiplying by 1. So this is now the limit. As x approaches infinity, this is going to be 1 plus 5x over x cubed is just 5 over x squared. Over this is going to be 2 minus 1 over x plus 4 over x cubed. Yeah, I think I did that right, right? Because we lost an x there. So now it's a little more clear when x approaches infinity. This one, this one, and this one are going to approach 0 because it's a fraction and the bottom is getting really, really big. So we get 1 plus 0 over 2 minus 0 plus 0. So we end up with 1 over 2. So same answer we got when we just looked at it and wrote down the answer. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is trying to learn. Good luck.